Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. I just realized that I already finished the first 11 or actually uh, the first 12 sectors of Code Hunt and that there's only three sectors left for me to do. So in fact I'm really looking forward to the promised extension of the uh, default zone uh, of Code Hunt so that when I finish these three sectors I can uh, work on something else. But for now, let's see if I can be faster than Microsoft Research is in releasing new uh, games with solving these last three sectors. And therefore, let's get started with Sector 12, Search Sort. There's quite a few tasks here, actually 12 tasks in Sector 12 kind of fits. And of course, I'm going to start with Task 1. Let's see. We get in an array of integers and integer and we're supposed to return a zero in case 32 never appears here and one if it appears to one time two if it appears two times may that be I'm not sure, just a wild guess, but let's try it out. So int result, I'm on Java by the way, yes I am. Int result equals zero for int i equals zero. Actually, can I can I use a for each loop on arrays? I'm not really sure, but let's find out. And so I iterate over numbers and in case that number equals to x I increase the result by 1 and then of course in the end I return the result. Let's see if that works out or if I missed the key idea of this thing. At least it seems to work for the first test cases and in fact it seems to work for all of the test cases. Pretty nice. So let's continue on to the next next task. What do we have here? We get in an array of words this time and a string s and we're supposed again to return some integer. So maybe it's the same idea. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven occurrences of this string, we return seven. For two, four, six, eight occurrences, we return eight. For none, no occurrence at all, we return zero. So this seems to follow this, the same pattern, which means that we again have end result equals zero for string word in words if uh, the word equals, remember always to use equals on strings because uh, the equal sign doesn't work for for checking string equality and in case these are equals we return result and of course we return result in the end. Let's see if that works out or if this task is actually something different. Seems to work for two of the three test cases we've seen before. One was apparently skipped by the symbolic execution and uh, my confidence is increasing and yes, I was right. We solved this task here and can continue on to the next task. So far, I'm not really sure what this has to do with sorting, but at least the tasks are not too difficult and I even get the full skill rating even though I use loop solutions here in Java where I could use some uh, shorter link expressions on the C sharp side. Okay, next puzzle. Can you find the first index of X? By the way, something interesting, maybe you can drop a comment on this. Um, I almost never read this little text here on top. I only I almost only read it if I can solve the tasks and in that case it is mostly uh, find the code snippet written here like the default text but here this time I actually read that there's something different um, and it even seem might help because 
I guess it describes the task pretty pretty exactly. So in fact we go this time we need a for, uh, complete for loop because we have to return the index um, i smaller numbers dot length i plus plus and in case if numbers i equals its integer so we can use the equality sign here return i otherwise return minus one probably because in this case it never occurs and there he returns minus one so let's see if that works out and in fact it does these tasks are surprisingly easy so let's continue on maybe let me have a look at the time yeah I guess I can give the next task a try in this episode so looks quite familiar can you find the last index of x so yes I guess I can so for and I wish I have had copied this from the um, from the previous task then it would be easier now I bigger or equals then to zero and uh, I minus minus and then I'm going to check if numbers i equals x in that case i return i if not this never matches i return minus one which is the correct solution and i think i'm going to leave it at that before i get into serious trouble and do an overlong episode again i'm going to end this one with this quite successful run of the first four tasks see you around this is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.